Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. I'm going to do a keeping it real. It's been a while. I'm all doing this solo because Joe's not here. We filmed yesterday at Chilling and Grilling and we, could only, we only had enough time to do one video so I decided, yeah, I'm going to put another video out. I'm going to do a keeping it real video. Representing my team, the Eagles. Go Eagles. Um, this is keeping it real. I, I reached out to Twitter today on Twitter and asked, you know, for top for uh, topics that people would like me to to do a keeping it real on and uh, There's quite a few of them, you know on anxiety and I you know naturally I already did one on anxiety not to say I won't do another one at some point, but You guys need to go back and watch that one because obviously that's why the views were so low because you didn't watch it What's up with that? Anyway, so a lot of good topics came up after that um, certain ones I won't touch, like politics. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching that. That's just asking for an argument and hate. Um, but no, what I decided to do was uh, James was the first person that I saw that said it, and it was friendship. We're friends, and I was like, yeah, that's that's a pretty good one to talk about. Really, I mean, you know, what is a friend? Who is a friend? Um, can anybody be a friend? You know, that kind of thing. And uh, what is what is a friend? A friend is somebody you can count on, right? Somebody who uh, not necessarily has to be like-minded, but um, mutual respect for another person. Um, and there, I think there's different levels of friendship. I think that you know, there's you, you can call acquaintances friends. You know, you can call somebody that you've been friends with for a long time, and you have you know deep love for that person. A friend, um, you can call it best friends, true friends. One of the terms I don't like is fake friends, because I think that's absolutely ridiculous. It's it's not a very. I mean, if you think about it, fake friend means that you were never really friends to begin with. So just why even call a friend? You, you you faked it. You faked being friends. And here here and that'll bring me on to the topic of Twitter friends. You know, or internet friends as opposed to real life friends. Now, I know that sounds a little weird because it's like real life. Well, people on, that are typing on Twitter are really alive. I mean, so, but what I'm saying is somebody that you've actually interacted with face to face um, is different than online. Some people, oh, and that's the other thing I want to just mention that you can disagree with me, that's fine. These are just my opinions, but the thing about a friendship is, is always like that you can have difference of opinions, but you still have mutual respect for each other and you don't, you know, hate on each other for, for just because their, your, their opinion is different than your opinion. I've learned a lot through like Twitter myself. Um, I don't know what, I, I, I talked to Tom today about this because I wanted his, his viewpoint on it because he's grown up in the society that a lot of you guys have where um, you have a lot more friends on the internet than you have in real life. Some people, they only have internet friends and they don't have, you know, friends outside of that. I can't imagine that, but, you know, I'm sure that there are people like that, um, that, that, that have that. Um, are they different? Yeah, I, I believe that they are people that you talk to online is not the same as in real life because, I mean, you can't see their, you know, infle you can't hear their inflections of their voice, you can't really see their lifestyle. They, you know, the one thing about the internet is like, somebody is only gonna tell you what you want, or not what you want, but what they want you to know. And that's important. I mean, that's a, a, a thing that you should keep in your head is that, you know, like, online, you know, when you're talking to somebody, they're not going to tell you that, you know, maybe they get angry and throw things and stuff like that that you don't see or they hit things or they do really bad stuff. They're not going to tell you that. I mean, like, sure, real life, you know, your friend's not going to say, I do this. But there's certain ways you observe that person. The longer that you have known them, those tendencies would tend to come out that you would know that about that. So, that you, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over this flu thing. You would still, you know, be able to observe it and, uh, and, and the closer that you get to somebody, you would know that stuff. So 
there is a difference between the internet and real life. Like I asked Tom, Tom was like, yeah, definitely. Like his friends that he, he has, um, you know, he considers different than internet friends. And, you know, you can't say that, well, internet friends really aren't friends. No, they really are. I mean, but there is, uh, there's a disconnect because there's no human interaction on there. Um, I have some really close, I have two really, really close internet friends, um, James and Sonia, and shout out to them right now. Those, those two I trust probably 99.9%, .9%, right? Got to keep that little 1% back. I don't really want to trust anybody 100% except for my wife and my son. Um, they, they are probably two of the nicest people I've ever met. Um, but we don't just talk. I, like, I trust them. I, I've told them stuff about like the Psycho series and stuff like that or this series that um, you know I told them about. I, I sh shouldn't say the storyline of it because I didn't know the storyline of it. But I, I, I showed them a picture of what I was going to look like in this in this series, and of course they they didn't put it out there because we're friends and we're we're trustworthy friends and we have a special connection. But we we also talk to each other through videos and stuff like that. Um, we would actually hang out with each other without a doubt if they lived closer, but they don't. They're really close friends. Now I have a lot of t friends though on on Twitter that I consider friends, but they're, they're, they're friends, but they're not like a best friend. Like, you know, like if you, that's the other thing I want to talk about is like best friends. What is a best friend? Like I see that, that, that thrown out there a lot. Like I, I see people call people, oh, you guys are my best friends on the internet. So I guess people do look at it like they have best friends on social media. Is that the same as a best friend that has been there for like, like I have, probably uh, maybe a handful of best friends that I consider best friends. And two of them, like even Jeff, right? I've known him since I was 13. I would consider him one of my best friends. Um, and my friend, I have two friends from high school. You know, that's a long time ago, best friends. And then you got in the thumbnail, you see Mike and Joe, which I have known for, I like to think, I'd say about 24 years, something like that, 20, maybe 25, 26, for a long time. Um, we're best friends. We're we're really close. We're true friends. You know, stuff like that. Um, it, we've been around each other for a long time, so it's easy for us to know what you know a lot about each other and stuff like that. And uh, a friend is somebody you can always count on. Remember that. Um, it's important. If you can't count on that person, then chances are that they're they could still be a friend, but that doesn't mean they're a very good friend if you can't count on them. It's the same thing, like, you know, you can disagree on things, that's fine. But once a person brings some kind of hatred towards you, then get out. Friends should never bring hate to, her, to another friend. That is not a friend. Um, that, and that brings me back to Twitter. Like, I, I've, I've been relatively close with some people on Twitter that I found out in the long run were, brought me hate, and they weren't really my friend, which, uh, you know... Some things still blow my mind, like when they happen and stuff. But it's like, so I am not as trustworthy, especially as I used to be when I first got on Twitter, because I thought Twitter was like, you know, real life, you know, like people are real on there. And it, quite, the con uh, quite the contrary is, uh, is the way that people actually are on Twitter. Um, the majority are, are fine, and it's a shame because it's just like with everything. Everybody thinks like Philadelphia fans are the worst fans ever. They, they suck, you know. They, they threw a battery at so-and-so. I think Santa Claus, they booed Santa Claus. They did this, they did that. Okay, there, there is, you know, some bad ones. But the majority of fans are good. But unfortunately, just like everything else in life, a couple bad ones do something, and then everybody lumps everybody in together so they're all bad but that's not true i'm an eagles fan i'm not a bad fan at all i you know we talk smack so does every team but if you think about it every single team has their bad fans that's how it is so and and my point is on this is like with twitter there is the majority of people that are really really nice then there's a small group that is not so nice Right, but usually you know them right away. But then there's this other group that you 
you think they're nice and they're there and all of a sudden for whatever triggered them they turn their back on you and go off or um, get mad or, or throw hate at you that's not a friend that's not a friend never a friend would never bring a true friend I'm talking about would never bring hate towards their other friend for you know unless unless you guys become not friends anymore. That's my point. Um, I'm blessed also, my wife is my best friend and I'm my wife's best friend. She better say that anyway. But I am blessed with that scenario also. We tell each other everything. Everything's, um, we have such a great relationship, it's unbelievable. But my point is, is that if you get to, you know, your levels of friendship, when you find those best friends, those true friends that, you know, those are precious. Those are things that you should never let go and, and, and consider yourself blessed. If you can go through your whole life and have one person that you can call your best friend or, you know, or the truest friend that you have, then you're blessed. But if you can have more than that, you're even more blessed. I mean, it's just, a, it's a beautiful thing. We all need friendship. We need that. We need each other to build each other up, to, uh, to confide in, to, uh, you know, to ask each other for, you know, you know, I'm going through this, you know, I don't know what to do to get, you know, get some input from a, somebody who cares about you and loves you and everything. So it's important. Friendship is important. No man is an island. You can't stand by yourself. Um, you can think that you can and everything, but you need outside. You need others to help you and build you up and, and have mutual respect for each other and have friends. So friendship is important. Haven't said all that. Anyway, love you guys. Love you. Because you're my friends. Until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge. Go Eagles.